Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here. And today we're going to be talking about Toxic Growth Tier 5 in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. This was the new field upgrade added in Season 3, and I want to see if it's actually worth it. So I hopped into a game, I tried it out, I've been trying out for the past couple days now, and I think I'm ready to give my thoughts on it. Now, I will say, each of the field upgrades kind of has its own role. For example, Aether Shroud's more of a get out of jail free card or kind of a medic tool, where the healing aura is purely kind of a medic tool. And I guess tier 5 you can actually use as a get out of jail free card. Um, same with the Ring of Fire. I will say the Ring of Fire is less of a get out of jail free card and more of just an offensive or defensive tool. And as for Toxic Growth, I will say that itself is more like an offensive or defensive tool. Um, I find it best if you round up a bunch of zombies and then drop it down and it'll slow them down. Slow down bosses especially, that's useful because you can just shoot the boss if it's slowed down. But it will kill hordes of zombies, especially early on. Now the upgrades for it are to double the health of the growth, increase the charges to 2, double the damage the enemies take while moving through the growth, and increase the charges to 3, and then have uh, toxic explosions for those killed by the growth to affect uh, others nearby. Now in my opinion, I think toxic growth is kind of competing against Ring of Fire for this kind of role, but I will say the one great use toxic growth actually has is I would say if you're playing Outbreak and you have to hold out and defend an area, this is great to place down because these are basically like barbed wires, you know? So if you're playing co-op and you have multiple teammates, everyone playing their roles, I don't see a problem with at least one person or so taking toxic growth and using it to help with their team. Overall though, it is very satisfying to use, especially later on. You can wipe out entire hordes with just one pop of the toxic growth. And that's saying something because you do have three charges, which is quite a lot. Now, if you're kind of newer to Cold War, if you just don't spend the time in zombies and you don't have all the crystals to unlock everything like I have, um, I would say don't go for toxic growth and instead go for something like Ring of Fire or maybe even Frenzied Guard. In my opinion, those ones are better for what this toxic growth stuff does, but if you just want the satisfaction of using it or just to try something else out, try something new, then I would recommend toxic growth to you. But otherwise, it's not the most effective thing. It just has a very unique and different role in this game that um, is very niche, you could say. Anyways, guys, this is my short and simple review of the Toxic Growth Tier 5 in Cold War Zombies. A lot of fun, pretty powerful, but overall, pretty niche. Thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.